Hello everyone, welcome to Global Online. In this lecture, we are going to see NTA UGC net paper 1 and in this lecture, we are going to discuss most expected MCQ on information and communication technology. And today, we are going to discuss the MCQ on ICT and uh, governance. Okay, so do watch this lecture to clear all your doubt about the same and you will receive my lecture every day at 7 a.m. So do visit our channel every day at 7 in the morning and do watch my lecture to score more marks in the upcoming exam so before we move forward there is one announcement the students who are preparing for ugc net 2022 exam we the global online is offering 2000 plus mcq quick revision pdf students there is very less time remaining for your exam and this is a guaranteed pdf in which we are providing your current affair question with the detailed explanation plus PYQs with a detailed explanation, most expected MCQ and most repeated MCQ which is really important for your upcoming exam. This PDF will help you to revise all the topic in detail. To get the PDF, please contact on given number. Do WhatsApp message here. Okay. And the PDF is available just for Rs. 599. So do message here and get the PDF and start your preparation. Which of the following institution researcher will collaborate with the Mobile Payment Forum of India to develop voice based solution for a digital transaction. So here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you following which of the institution researcher will collaborate with the mobile payment forum of the India to develop the voice based solution for the digital transaction. For which the first option here is IIT Kanpur, second option is IIT Bombay, third option is IIT Delhi and the last option is IIT Madras. Okay, so here researchers from Indian Institute of Technology that is IIT Madras will work with the member of Mobile Payment Forum of India to develop the voice based solution in the several different languages in order to increase the country's adoption of digital money transaction. According to the Indian government figure, there are more than 100 million active unified payment interface that is UPI users every month and this initiative are been taken by the MPFI towards bringing the 500 million active users by 2025 okay so if you don't get confused between the IPFI the, uh, the full form of this is payment mobile payment forum of India okay so here the correct answer for this question will be option number 4 that is IIT Madras. e rakam portal is related to the welfare of. So here in this question they ask you about the e rakam portal which is related to which of the following. For which the first option here is mining industry, second one is student, third one is income taxpayer and the last one is farmer. So here the e rakam portal the full form of this is a Erastria Kisan Agrimandi. Okay. And this portal was a launch by Union Government to provide a platform for the farmers to sell the agriculture produce. Okay. The prime objective of Erakam is to assist the farmer with the payment directly into their bank account without any intermediaries okay so here the correct answer for this question will be option number four a rakam portal is related to the welfare of farmers sarthi is a web portal of so here in this question they ask you about the sarthi is a web portal of which of the following for which the first option here is ministry of civil aviation Second option is Ministry of Women and Child Development. Third one is Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. And the last one is Ministry of Rural Development. Okay. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highway has launched the online portal of Sarthi Parivahan Seva. Okay. Launch 
सारथी परिवहन सेवा वाय दे हेव लॉन्च दिस टू प्रोवाइड अ ऑनलाइन सर्विसेस लाइक अ ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस देन इज अ लर्निंग लाइसेंस ट्रांसफर ओनरशिप फॉर्म ओके द सार्टी पोर्टल इज अ लॉन्च अंडर द डिजिटल इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट्स एम टू ब्रिंग ऑल द गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेस ऑनलाइन द सार्थी एप्लीकेशन एज बीन इनिशिएटेड बाय द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे मिनिस्ट्रीज ओके विच इज अ डिलीवर टू द सिटीजन टू डिजिटलाइज द वर्किंग कंडीशन ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट offices with the help of parivahan seva sarthi all the work related to the license like a issue of a learning license permanent driving license change in the any detail etc is a done to the digitally so here the sarthi is a web portal of the ministry of transport and the highways that means the correct answer will be option number the article which provide quality of opportunity in educational institution so here in this question they given you the different articles and they asks you given which article provide the quality of opportunity in the educational institution okay for which the first option here is article 28 clause c second option is article 30 third option is article 29 clause 1 and the last option is article 28 clause 1 so the article which provide the quality of opportunity in the educational institute is the article 29 clause 1 okay the quality of opportunity in the educational institutions are the quality of the educational opp opportunities include the provision of a education for a all irrespective of a religion religion caste sex or even location it doesn't mean identity of a educational opportunity but means a best suited to the intelligence and the aptitude of a every student therefore the national policy on the education that is npe 1986 emphasis that the quality of our education means to provide a equal opportunity to all only in the excess but also in the condition of a successful okay so the article 29 clause 1 this provide all the citizen group that residents in india having a distinct culture language script the right to converse their culture and the languages this right is a absolute and there is a no reasonable restriction in the interest of general public here so here the option 3 that is article 29 clause 1 is the correct answer which of the following ict initiative of mhrd deal with e governance for a institution and universities okay so here in this question they given you the four option and they ask you given which is the ICT initiative of MHRD which deal with the e governance for a institution or the universities for which the first option here is samarth second option is vidwan third option is IRINS and the last option is the swayam so here on 14 may on 14 may 2020 the ministry of human resource development that is mhrd has developed the e governance platform samarth enterprise resource planning okay under the national mission of education in the information and the communication technology scheme that is nme ict okay so here the full form for this is a national mission on education in the information and the communication technology okay and the aim of e governance platform samart is to provide a quality education to the student across all the universities and the higher education institute so here the correct answer for this question is option number 1 
Samarth is a ICT initiative of MHRT which deal with e-governance for a institutions and a universities. NME ICT is a acronym for. So here in this question, they ask you the full form of the NME ICT. For which the first option here is National Mission Education through the Information and Communication Technology. Second one is National Mission on Education through the Information and Communication Technology. Third one is National Multipurpose Education through the Information and Communication Technology. And the last one is National Mode of Education through the Information and the Communication Technology. So here the full form for this will be the National Mission on Education through the Information and the Communication Technology which is a proposed as a centrally sponsored scheme to support a development of ICT. Support the development of ICT in the teaching and learning process for the benefit of all the learner in the higher education institution in any time anywhere mode okay so here the correct answer for this question will be option number two that is national mission on education through the information and communication technology e-commerce involve buying and selling of so here in this question they ask you about the e-commerce for which the first option here is international goods, second one is electronic goods, third one is product related to the computers and the last one is product and the services over the internet. So whenever we are talking about e-commerce, it refers to the process of buying and the selling of product or the services over the internet internet okay online shopping has become increasingly popular because of the speed and the ease of use for a customer so the e-business activity such as a selling online can be directed at the customer or a other businesses so here when we are talking about the e-commerce we are talking about the online shopping Business to the consumer that is B2C involve the online sale of a goods, services and a provision for a information directly to the consumers. And business to business that is B2B refer to the online exchange of a product, services or a information between the businesses. Selling online can help the business reach a new market and increase the sale and the revenue gain. So the correct answer for this question will be option number 4. E-commerce involves buying and selling of the product and the services over the internet. Which description is appropriate among the following for the e-governance? So here in this question they given you the 4 options and they ask you given which description is appropriate for the e-governance okay for which the first option here is to engage enable and empower the citizens second option is to provide a fair and unbiased to the citizens third option is to provide technology driven governance and the last option is to ensure the people faith in the e-commerce application so here the electronic governance is a generally understood as a use of information and a communication technology that is a ICT at all the level of the government in order to provide the services to the citizens, interaction with the business enterprise and the communication and the exchange of information between the different agency of the government in the speedy, convenient, efficient and a transparent manner. Okay. E-governance facility interaction between the different stakeholders is a governance and this interaction may be described as a G2G that is a government to government, G2G then is G2C that is uh, government to citizens then there is a G2B government to business and G2E that is government to employees. The correct answer here is option number one to engage, enable and empower the citizens. 
which of the following is related to the national super computing mission of the government of the india so here in this question they ask you given which of the following is related to the national super computing mission of the government of india for which the first option here is param 8000 second option is param 10000 third option is param dhavak and the last option is param shivai so param shiva is related to the national super computing mission of the government of the india the national super computing mission that is a nsm is a rapidly boosting high power computing in the country through its various phase to meet the increased computational demand of the researchers msme and the startup in the areas like a uh, oil exploration flood prediction and also the drugs discovery param shiva is the first super computer assembly was uh, installed in the iit iit bhu followed by the param shakti and uh, param brahma at uh, iit kharagpur and uh, I I S E R Pune respectively. So here the correct answer for this question will be option number four. That is, Param Shiva is related to the National Super Computing Mission of the Government of India. The use of information technology to improve the ability of the government to address the needs of the society is known as. So here in this question they ask you the use of information technology to improve the ability of the government to address the need of a society is known as. For which the first option is e-business, second one is e-administration, third one is e-governance, and the last one is e-marketing. So the advancement of our information and the communication technology that is ICD is a rapidly changing the society and a mode of governance as well right so the e governance is the application of a ICT for a delivering the government services that can make the available all the citizen in the convenient efficient and a transparent manner it also helped the purpose of the public sector efficiency improving the transparency and accountability in the government functions and allowing for the cost saving in the government administration okay it allowed a greater flexibility to the citizens to do their regular transaction anytime anywhere according to their convenience by using the internet and a major component involved in the e governance are the government to government government to citizen then is a government to business and a government to the employee it has been bringing about a smart governance hence the use of information technology to improve the ability of the government to address the needs of the society is known as a e governance so here the according to explanation the correct answer for this question will be option number 3 the use of information technology to improve the ability of the government to address the need of a society is known as e governance